Today, we've got a whole bunch of fun stuff coming out here. We're going to be starting with Wayfinders. I want to give a big thank you to Digital... Uh, not, is it Digital... I don't think it's Digital Extremes actually sponsoring the stream. I think it's the Play Wayfinder guys. Yeah. I would like to thank Play Wayfinders, the Wayfinder devs, for sponsoring the stream. We really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, we are here checking out this game. This is an interesting game. So basically what this is, is I believe this is Airship Syndicate. And they partnered with DE to make this new... It's not, it's kind of similar to Warframe, but it's very much its own thing. Uh, obviously, DE is a big helper in this game. And it kind of went into a, an early access state a couple weeks ago. And honestly, it was pretty rough. It was pretty rough. Um, like, it, they had a lot of server issues, which is kind of normal for, for this stuff these days. But they have been working on it very hard. Um, they still have a pretty big player base. But on top of that, when I queued up this morning, I had a queue of zero minutes. So that's good. They've made a lot of progress. Things are looking a lot better. And today we're here to check the game out and see what it has to offer. So this is going to be my first time playing the game. I have heard good things and I am uh, looking forward to checking it out. What game is this? This is Wayfinder. This is Wayfinder. So on that note, let's go ahead, dive in and uh, check this out. Yeah. All right. So the only thing that I've done so far is log in. And I haven't even selected a character yet. So we have kind of the big not afraid. tanky healer guy. And then we have the what are you waiting for? The gunner looks like range bomber person. I wait in the shadows. And then the rogue. So we're gonna try we're gonna try silo. Fun. Try silo. Sound is very loud. Well, I will lower it then. There we go. Let me know how that is. If you want more information on this game, we have a wayfinder command and a profile button down below. And uh yeah, check it out. Oh yeah, Flame, what have you been running into? Age of wonders. Oh. We wove magic into steel and shaped the elements with our words. And yet, even in this golden age, there were stories of cities falling to darkness. Hey, Aaron. Of a force reaching from the shadows. We didn't believe them until it came for us. The beacons had always been a part of our world. We never knew who created them, or that someday they would return. We light the beacon. Somehow. Hey, the markings. I can do this. But I'll need some time. Precursor. We have to buy her some time. False one. This is vengeance for my people. This. I. I'm sorry. No! Just a little longer. Damn. We are so close. You've done it. The light. Your gods are dead. Your world is ours. Well. Okay. 
follow the voice. Recover HP using healing flasks. All right. Oh, take the shard. Ah, my bad, girl. Didn't mean to blatch you. I remember. I'm called Silo. My family were smugglers, outlaws. But they lived by a code, did what was best for the people. Now, it's up to me to fight the gloom and to find out what's happened to my family. Okay. Praise the architects. I thought we'd lost you. Oh, Staminar, don't you worry about it. Thank you for watching. Uh, okay. There's no time to explain. You're trapped within the gloom. But with that shard, you can cut through the shadows. You must move quickly. I will guide you as best I can. Okay. So wait, did I just watch this guy die? And now, are we good? Are we good? We good? Oh. No time to explain. Just go. I know, right? <clears throat> okay, we got an active reload mechanic. Heavy attack with E. Okay. Oh, I got all sorts of abilities in the bottom right there. All right. Is there, um... Oh, God, what was dodge? Space? No, it's... Oh, Lord. Control? Ah, it's control, okay. Um... Let me see what this feels like on controller. Okay. Air dashing. Nice. Oh, there's like an it's like an aggressive lock on mechanic. Okay. Interesting. L1 and R1. Consume a locked and loaded charge by performing your weapon ability. Oh. Uh, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Right in front of me. Oh, whoops. Okay. Hey, Korath, good morning. Passives, mutators. All right, cool.
This is fine. Okay. Uh, character selection is permanent from this point. Okay. see I kind of now that I'm playing with controller I kind of want to try melee you can unlock the others through grinding kind of saying play yes or, or press yes can I can I switch it now or should I not it'll kick you out if you switch it that's fine press no it will crash I mean there's no there's no cue I don't I don't care if it crashes Okay, you can't switch after this. Okay, I'm gonna do no. It's fine. There was there was no cue when I logged in. So do I have to do the tutorial again, or do I just get to pick a different question or a different? Okay, it's only three minutes. It's fine. How does that work? Oh, each character has their own tutorial. Yeah, let me try. Let me try this. <clears throat> in the shadows. I kind of want to try melee. Oh, same tutorial. Okay. Different cutscenes. Gotcha. We lived in an age of wonders. It wasn't that bad, Relair. Go playing a rogue? What? I know. I don't think I've ever done this before. Chat, you look cute. Chat looks pretty cute today. I am Nis, the Blade of Shadows. Hi, Nis. I like your horns. My people are the Deep Elden, ancient and wise. Oh, I haven't looked at my graphics settings yet. Do I need to adjust those? Above. I'll take a look after this. But they have been lured down a dark path by treacherous spirits. When my clan refused to kneel, oh. our people turned against us. Yo, what's up, King Gathalion? How are you? Now this darkness is swallowing the world, but it cannot conquer me. I am the Blade of Shadows, and I will bring death to false gods oh. who have broken this world. All right, we're good. Praise the Architects. I thought we'd lost you. We need to get you back to Skylight. Yeah, weird. For some reason, Susie, they told me it wasn't running. I was going to say, I saw that you put it in. Okay. There's no time to explain. We're good. You're trapped within the gloom. But with that shard, you can cut through the shadows. You must move quickly. I will guide you as... Okay. <laughs> Oh, she has like. Wait, what is this? Was oh, that like a parry? Have you seen a game called Star uh, Star Fried? Star Freeled? No, I haven't. What's what's that? Mm -mm. Feels pretty good. Parry. She can parry. Okay, let's try parrying. Seems pretty forgiving. Like the window. Okay. 
What do my abilities do? Let's see, I think I can hold this and hit down. No, this and down. Dash a line dealing damage along the way. After a short delay, a Gloom clone will dash from your initial, initial position to you. Uh, next three dodges to pierce enemies. Briefly become immune to attacks. And for 10 seconds, Shadow Step can be used at no cost. Okay. Cool. Oh, it's forgiving for now, but later it's something else? Okay. Oh. Thank you, Pouties. I don't know if you got the stream up, but thank you. Hell yeah. happened at the beginning of this game yeah it got a little rough at the beginning because they had a bunch of server issues but they've been working on it pretty much non-stop and thankfully the server issues are pretty much gone i had a three minute queue that lasted about half a minute and a zero minute queue when i started this morning so i don't know what it's like at prime time um but now it's looking fine at this time i should say it's looking fine What is this blue stuff I'm picking up? Hmm. Okay. Hey, Lorg, what's up, man? How are you? Good to see you. Orbs that give you more damage for your abilities. Okay. Sounds fun. Thank you, Varian Triwar. What if we can parry this guy? Oh my god, she used Shadow Jutsu. But am I supposed to be spamming that right then? Ooh. Oh, I haven't been using heavy attack, so this is light attack. And then this is heavy attack. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So, let me make sure I'm understanding this properly. For 10 seconds, Shadow Step can be used at no cost. Shadow Step is dash in a line, dealing damage along the way. So I have to dash through things to do dam damage. So I think I wasn't really doing a lot of damage to him with it because I was dan like dodging around him, not through him. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm feeling this character much more. Elming says you're already dashing, Co. What? Why, thank you. <laughs> oh, Corey, and, and everyone mentioning that. I completely agree. Yeah, I don't think that's ever been something that hasn't caused some tension. 404 Sword, thank you, bud. Appreciate it. Chan is so handsome today. Yes, and also very cute. Yep. And Gravity Beat Co. Gravity is the scissors to my paper. Yes. Yes. That's not good. <laughs> wait, wait, do I have to do it again? Okay. Let's see. Mm -mm. 
Oh, graphic settings. Yeah, we gotta do the graphic settings. Do, 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 do. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, when this when this game first started, those queues were like hours long. So, you know, like a, a little kick would be potentially being done. Try again. Oh, I need to close the game and relaunch chat saying. Okay, let's do that. We'll check the settings when we go back into. This is Dimitri. And he says, hello. Dimitri. Yeah, look at that big kitten. Look at that big caboodle. Okay, first let's check the settings. Uh, max frame rate, let's set that to 120 because that's the most I ever do. We're gonna put everything on ultra. Turn off the blur of the motion. All right, looks good. Hey, Dirt Pizza, what's up, buddy? Oh, turn off crossplay. Okay. Yep, Airship Syndicate made this game. Mm -hmm. Twisted Three, thank you for the forty-three. I appreciate it. Oh, that's saying it's bugged again. Okay. Let me try turning off crossplay. Frozen Wayfinder logo requires oh a Steam restart. Oh, is there like a um a, a Steam upload thing or something? Okay. First, let's turn off crossplay. Uh, there we go. Okay. Turn that off. Try right, logging in again. Ashton Trash says, if that doesn't work, Co, sometimes you have to revalidate the files, unfortunately. It's kind of a server issue with random disconnects during transfers right now. Ah, okay. Okay, you need to restart your brain? Yes. Agreed. Elming, thanks for gifting the sub, buddy. Appreciate that, dude. Mm. Ah, there we go. What is that precious fur thing behind you named? That is Dimitri. That is my 17 year old old man. And look at all these people. Talk to Omen. So wait. Yeah, I definitely want to understand the lore of this game more. Cause like, there's two silos. There's two of the big guys. How? Let's go. Let's let's do this for a little bit. Let's figure this out. Is this is this Omen? Who are you? Oh hi. This is the map viewer. Okay. They're all echoes. Okay. We're all ghosts. Echoes. Let's explain later. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. This way. Man, it's pretty. They're echoes of wayfinders that died. Oh man. Hmm. 
So it's looking like it's having problems anytime it like crosses a zone. Is that what's going on? Did I start a character already? I did. <clears throat> Mr. Raves, what a great question. Oh, Urban Wreckful, is the music a little loud? I thought it was okay. Yeah. Yeah, it seems fine. Okay. Okay, here's Omen. Okay, Heart of Darkness ready. It is so good to see Oh, voice you. acting. I thought we'd lost you forever. Your omen, I remember a battle. Don't worry. Your memories will return in time. That battle took place a year ago, and you were lost in the gloom. We've been trying to bring you back ever since. Let me show you. The Eldrin attack was a distraction. The beacon was always the target. We pushed past them and found the creature who was leading the attack. And you did what needed to be done. You fought to the bitter end. And your sacrifice bought me the time we needed. There's so much we don't yet know about the beacon. But its power protects this city. It destroyed our enemies and stopped the Gloom Tear from expanding. We couldn't close the Gloom Gate. But as long as the beacon remains lit, our enemies can't pass through it. And in the year that followed, we've studied it. Learned more about this Gloom. Learned how to bring you back. We survived thanks to you. But the damage is done. Skylight is safe and the land around it. But beyond the highlands, reality is collapsing into the gloom. There may be other beacons, other places that repel the invaders. The only way to find out is to cut a path through the gloom. And for that, we need Wayfinders. We need you. Wait, beacons have always been here, but they don't know where they are? The others bought me the time I needed to light the beacon. And the beacon's light holds the gloom at bay. It's the only reason we're alive. What is the gloom? We still don't know. A year ago, the Eldrin attacked us and extinguished the beacon. And it was then that the gloom began to spread. It corrupts and consumes reality. The beacon protects us. But beyond its light... The gloom has swallowed the world, leaving only shadows and chaos. We don't know if anyone else has survived. That's why we need you. You survived in the gloom. You can do it again. With well, the I mean, tools I you've been given, you can die, right? Shadows. You must be a wayfinder. We still know so little about the gloom, and so much of the world has been lost to it. We need you to enter the Lost Zones to find a path through the shadows. I'm so confused. <laughs> okay. You've been through an ordeal. I shouldn't burden you with this now. It's best you see what's left of Skylight and meet other Seekers. You were a Seeker once. You've just forgotten. Before the Gloomfall, we investigated ancient mysteries. Now it's the Seekers who are working to keep Skylight and its people alive. Uh, where should I begin? Go to the Great Hall, up above the plaza. Wolf will want to meet you. We'll talk again after you've met with him and Lord Halar. Okay. Cool. Alright, sounds good. City on a hill. 
Man, this is pretty. Dang. Hey, Wolf. Welcome, Wayfinder. You honor us with your presence. I fought the Eldrin during the attack, just as you did. But it was your sacrifice that saved Skylight. It's all still a blur to me. Who are you? Wolf. Before the fall, I was an officer of the Avar Imperium. Now I command our forces, such as they are. There are all too many threats. Shrikes, breaches. But you'll see for yourself soon enough. We will have much to discuss in the days ahead. And we'll have quarters for you soon enough. Much of Skylight was devastated in the attack. The builders are working as quickly as they can. You have more important work ahead of you. But for now, find Lord Halar outside of the Great Hall. He'll get you ready for the tasks that lie ahead. Okay. Can do. Hey, bud. The new Wayfinder. Hi. Delightful. I am Lord. Is this an MMO? As you uh. Know. My lands no, it's like a it's like an online multiplayer game, by the gloom. like but Destiny or now, uh, Warframe. Now, names matter. Okay. I lead the Arcanists among the Seekers. By necessity, we have focused our efforts on restoring Skylight, but it is my studies of the gloom that can help you, not my knowledge of arcanic illumination. What we know for certain is that the gloom alters flora and fauna, and never for the better. Where it lingers, it can consume entire Isn't Destiny regions, an MMO? No. Leaving only shadows in the gloom. What we call lost zones. Not traditionally. Yeah. So, m most of the time, like, the, the term has changed over the years, but what, it, what an MMO primarily used to mean is that the entire world was static, sometimes instanced, but you could run around and basically find everyone else. A good example is take like World of Warcraft. You could run to the middle of a zone and somebody you don't know could run to the middle of that zone and you'd be able to see each other, especially if you were in the same instance. But what, what games do these days is they generally have like a social hub where you see a bunch of other people. But the second you go into the world, it becomes like an MMO light where it's like, there's tons and tons and tons of different instances. It's usually just like, five to 15 people. You sometimes see other people, but it's not like if you were to run to one place, there's no way you could find a random person if you knew where they were. It's not a persistent world. It's it's an it's an entirely instanced experience with social hubs. So, I mean, if you want to get technical, it's not the same thing, but if you, but these days, the term is really broadened out. So like these days, it's kind of like, do you see other people in the game that aren't you? It's an MMO. And honestly, I'm tired of fighting this battle. <laughs> so it's like, oh, is someone there you didn't invite to your game? MMO. So, you know, it's whatever you want it to be, really. Yeah. <laughs> you were consumed by the gloom. Hey, Dan, what's up, dude? Now you have the power to shape it to some degree. The shard you've been given focuses this gift. Yeah, I, I still I still think if you want to be technical about it, this this Destiny Warframe PoE, those are not MMOs. They're online multiplayer games with MMO elements. But, you know, again, these days, just like many terms in gaming, it's kind of grown out. Dan says, uh, is this fully voiced? It seems to be fully voiced so far, which is great. Am I enjoying the game? I've only done the tutorial combat so far, but it felt good. So I'm, I'm looking forward to kind of learning about the item progression, the lore. I'm very interested to see how this whole like multiple copies of people running around thing is explained i think it's going to be very interesting um so yeah i'm, I'm it's good so far fun enter a lost zone. the player isn't voiced yeah but this is just a glimmer of your full potential if you can enforce your will upon the gloom perhaps one day we can undo the damage that has been done but i can only tell you of the gloom omen can show you Return to her, near the Gloom Gate, Wayfinder. She will guide you in the next steps of your journey. 